Uh, hey, what's going on, guys? Um, Marine Smart had a question um, on the controller issue. Um, how to plug it into the computer if he needs an adapter and if he needs um, an adapter for the PS2. Uh, basically, um, you don't need an adapter with the 360 controller. If you have the wireless, you will need to get an adapter for it to work with your PC. Um, so you can go out and buy that. Uh, but I just got the plain old wireless one, or the sorry, the wired one I got with um, the core. So just basic wired ones. So basically, if you have Windows Vista, as soon as you plug in your controller, it'll recognize it and um, it'll download the driver for you automatically. If you have Windows XP, you'll need to um, download it off of Microsoft's website. You can get it from there. Uh, and if you want the PS2 controller. Um, you'll need to purchase a separate adapter so it'll work with your PC. Um, okay, so now that that's all answered, basically I'll show you how to do the configuration. So I'll minimize that, I'll open up Project 64. Okay, Project 64. So you'll want to go to Options, and then you'll want to go to Configure Controller Plugin. So you'll want to click that. And basically, if you get this message here, None, you'll just want to hit the arrow here, go to your controller, whether it's Xbox, PC, or the PS2, whatever, and basically it would look like this at first. Nothing would be customized. So basically if you want to customize it, move, move it a little bit, that's better, yeah. Basically if you want to customize it, you have your analog stick here, right? So you want to hit that button there, and then on your controller, there, so I went left. So on my analog stick to go left, now up, same thing again, hit it, and I'll go up, and then as you notice it changes to joy up. Now basically you do that for all your buttons, you know, you got your A and B button, you know, what you want the Z button. The beauty of the 360 controller is it has a trigger. So you can make that your Z button like the N64, which is good for GoldenEye and other games. So basically, once you have all your buttons set up the way you want them to be set up, you'll go to Save Profile, and then once you save your profile, I'll show you mine. You can go to load and then you have all your profiles here. I got some for GoldenEye so I could use um, both of the 360 analog sticks. I got one for Mortal Kombat 4, one specially for Smash Brothers, and one general one for all the other games like Mario, Super Mario 64 and what have you. So basically I'll load up the GoldenEye. So you'll want to click on your controller, open, and then you got all your buttons here and then you'll hit OK and that's it and then you'll want to play your, your game. So I'll go to File, Open ROM, I'll open up uh, GoldenEye, and I'll just give you a brief little demonstration. <coughs> okay, I'll skip all this. GoldenEye. Facility, just show you that again. All right, facility, one of the one of my favorite ones, especially multiplayer. But anyways, um, get a shot of me playing the game a little bit. So here I have this joystick here. This is to move and to um, strafe side to side, and this joystick here is to do all the um, the turning. So that's to move, strafe. This is to uh, aim with. All right, so show it to you in action. Ah, I just jumped down. <laughs> That's right, you don't mess with Bond. <laughs> all right, so yeah, they're all dead. Uh, I, I just find it feels better. It feels more like the uh, the shooters. Oh, he didn't hear it, I guess, I don't know, but whatever, it's still a great game. So basically that's it, uh, everything's, uh, whoops. everything's configured, um, oh, grenade, nice. Damn. 
so that's how you do that. Um, so once again, um, just do a little recap. You'll go to Options on Project 64, Controller Plugin, and then you'll want to make sure you select it in the little options here if it's not selected, and then you'll just hit the button on the side here, and then you'll hit the button on your controller, and um, select it, and then hit OK. And uh, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any more questions, um, make sure to comment, and I'll be sure to answer them. Okay, thank you.